How's it going, guys? Week two with Black Label Trading Company and the Ovea Negra Brands. We are doing the the royalty in the Robusto Vitola. Stay tuned. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Week two of Black Label Trading Company. As I said, we're back here smoking this royalty. The Madman Mike is back. Sorry about the hiatus. <laughs> and uh, Mike, let them know what this uh, royalty is made of, man. It's it, it's a little different. It's 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 an Ecuadorian Corojo wrapper um, with Nicaraguan filler and Honduran binder. That's right. A little bit of a mud, huh? Yeah. That's, yeah. You're gonna have to explain this to the to the audience what this um, is. Uh, it's, it's a great cigar. Yeah, I was gonna say so far the cigar is fantastic. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I looked at, looked at the blend, Honduran tobacco to me is not. It's not that it's getting popular. I think that it's regaining popular use. Does that make sense? Like people are starting to use it more frequently than they were. Is it because people are used to? They know that Rockies. A lot of his stuff is made with. Yeah, I, I think I think maybe because of of. Rocky uses so much of it, and then you look at Oscar using so much of it, CLEs, or uh, Asylum CLE, they're all, Christian Eroa, they're using so much of it. Uh, it may be something that's coming out, but uh, with Black Label, Ovea Negra Brands, Ovea Negra is kind of the umbrella that encompasses Black Work Studios, Black Label Trading Company, all their artwork, the fun, you know, the fun designs and stuff they do. Uh, putting this cigar together, this is part of their core line, so... Uh, Black Label Training and Black Work Studios, they do something really unique. They have a core line, okay? Um, and then they have their limited and their special releases. Now, their limited and special releases don't mean that, like, they're allocated to a certain place or only certain individuals get them. No, if you get your way through the core line, then you get to grow into these, these different variants and shapes and sizes and blends of some of the core lines that have extended into something something else later down the road. So we get the cool stuff. Yeah, the cool show will be here. Yeah. October will be a great month. <laughs> um, but anyway, the cigar, Mike, so far, what are, what are you thinking, man? I enjoy it. It, it, it it's, it's, a, it's a bit different. It's a, I guess because all the different components that are compiled in this thing from different regions of the world... Um, it, it's complex but smooth. It it I, I it, it it's it's uh it's I don't want to say subtle because it, then it makes it sound like it, it it's it's not interesting to smoke. Right. It's very interesting to smoke. What's your take? So yeah, far? I got a so funny story. When I met the Black Label Trading Company guys, we they, they asked that question about um, do you have a lot of mild smokers there? And I was like no, and they laughed. They were like well good. This royalty like as we're smoking through it, this is the lightest offering they have. It doesn't as far as strength profile goes. So. Like you said, subtle to me. Like it, it, and, you and don't it, want to use that word, like you said, because it kind of makes yeah, down. And, and, here, and here's what I mean too. It's come, look. It, it has like it, it hits on a lot of little characteristics that people look for. Mm. So, so does it have an abundance of spice? No, but it has spice. Does it have nuttiness? Yes. Does it have a little earthiness? Yes. Does it have a little butter? Yes. It has a li to me. It has a lot of the characteristics certain people look for in certain cigars, right. and it kind of mixes them all together, and it doesn't overpower you one way or another. Right. But it it fills that void. I, it, it it just it encompasses everything, but it doesn't overload it. Yeah. No, I have to agree. Does that make yeah. any sense? Yeah. No, it's kind of. I don't cool. think I've ever described a cigar that way until this one. No, yeah. It's it's. I like how the way you hit on it, and we're we'll do a little light effect fix real quick. You're fine. The way you hit on it was, it does hit a lot of those very, uh, uh, if you had a range of, of six to eight notes that, that are typical to tobaccos that a lot of people look for, I think this thing touches on all of it without trying to pinpoint, you know, a certain flavor type to something. But like you said, the kind of buttery feel of the smoke. Is there a little spice? Yes. Is there a little, um, you know, encompassing sweetness? Sure. It's all in there. It draws great. It's burning great. And it has the same composition as the quality. Smells good. It burns evenly, as you could tell, guys. I'm more than halfway through. I have not had to relight it. It mm -hmm. draws easy. So it has all that group, all the great characteristics you want in a cigar, and it hits on a lot of the notes. Yeah, it's it's really unique. Um, 
as it smokes through, and the smoke is very consistent too. That's that's kind of unique. Like when it hits your palate, a lot of, a lot of times when you play with, I use the term mutt, and I don't mean that in a bad way. But you look at a mutt dog, right? It's got you know, like five different lineages in a dog, but um, you got three different types of tobacco in the cigar. And I'm sure if you broke them down on a specified level, each one's supposed to do something different, right? I'm not gonna do that thing. But this combination of the tobacco together really gives you a in, encompassing. The, you said it, like a, a, if you had a, a wheel that you picked these things that you wanted and you could umbrella all that into one stick, I think it did it. Like, yeah. you know, it's here. And I have to throw a shout out to Black <clears throat> Label Trading because I don't know if they remember. Not this past cigar, show that you went to unfortunately I was not able to attend but last year when I was there I went to their booth on the last day and they had just missed the cut in our humidor because we just didn't have the room and I told them we would bring it back so or we'd bring it in and you were able to do that for yeah. us so yeah. um, it, it is it has been a great addition to our humidor it, it's to help make it complete yeah it's so. uh, you got us I, I have to say black black label um, it, it it does how do I how do I say that? It does something really unique to a humidor because one, if when you look at when you look at artwork, right? Artwork is everyone tries to follow a certain trend or a trend type with the artwork, and when you look at everything that Black Label does, Blackwork Studios, it's still very gothic and medieval so is that and, the provenance and, behind it what is black label what, what how do they do you know anything about how they came up with the name I, of what they do or? i don't i don't okay. i don't know um it uh I, I i don't i don't want to i don't i don't know i don't know i, I like it i like the uh the i the, the idea behind all of it you know like the old black label societies you know the the, the dark out societies the, the the quiet the confusing you know things like that i love what they do with their their art their artwork and the presentation of the cigars, you know you look at the royalty box, it is pearl white with a this image right here. There is a skull with a crown and royal facade behind it on a box, and it just says royalty. You know you're walking by. That's one of the ones where you stop and well, what the hell is that? You know it's really unique what it does when you put it on the shelf and. and and what it does for everything around it, you know, it's, it's really unique. So, like Mike said, great addition to the humidor. And, you know, it, I have to be honest, too. As a retailer, when you brought these in, they've only been here a couple of weeks. They're, they're literally falling off, flying off the shelf, and we're not even... Green Hornet flew away. Pushing them, yeah. The green Hornet it's flew just, away. It's just a great cigar. Yeah, cigars are all the way across the board. Like we said, well... We'll keep getting to this, but I had said it in episode one. We're super excited to go through all these cigars with Black Label. And uh, as promised, next week we do have Smoker's Abbey on the show with us. Um, I talked with Sparks. He's going to help me figure out the technology side. Of it. I didn't pay any attention to that. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, we'll smoke into these just a little bit more. Um, come back and talk a little more tasting on it. And then uh, we'll do our try by the night fun stuff. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're into these now. Mike's uh, Mike's down to the label itself. I'm about an inch off the label. I'm going to smoke through this guy. Um, cigar's fantastic. I it it is. I, I will tell you for for the there are people that enjoy a cigar. You know, we always talk about the three thirds, the first, second, and third third right. of a cigar. And sometimes those cigars do change. This cigar for me has stayed consistent through the first and second third, and I'm about into the third third. And it is it has stayed really consistent all the way through. Mark, what for customers curious, what is the price point of this cigar? Um, so the MSRP is with right between eight twenty five and I, I think I think it's nine thirty five. Our set eight fifty at Santino's. Um, so a, a, a nice solid robusto, eight eight fifty, you know, beautiful beautiful price range for if, if you want to try it. And there is that. another size in this that we have as well, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have it in the Churchill as well, I believe. Okay. So um, yeah, let's roll right into our try by tonight. That's a, that's our fun part of the show. I think I can comfortably say I think we're both on the same page with Mike. I'll, yeah, I'll no, it. it's definitely a, a, a try and, a, and buy. I mean, this this cigar is very versatile. It could be smoked in various settings under various conditions. This is one, you know, sometimes cigars are a great golf cigar, let's say, or a great after-dinner cigar, or, right. you know, a great cigar sitting on the porch. This is versatile. So for me, it's an all-around try and buy. 
Yeah, I can smoke. I uh, I have to agree. I really think this cigar could be like you said. This could be any any. If you're a full strength smoker, this could be breakfast. If you're a or if you want to golf and you want a nice cigar, it's a cigar to do that. Um, you know, if you're sitting on the beach, you know, get whatever. If you're a medium strength smoker and you want to break into something full, but you don't want too too much behind it, this is great for you after dinner. Or this, if you got five of these, and that's what's in your humidor that day, and you smoke it all day, it's not gonna, you know, there's there's nothing incredibly overpowering about the cigar that takes it from one one way or the other. The cigar is very well put together. The flavors are just the, the cigar is consistent. I mean, I don't. I'm, there's not even a. I'm not, I don't want to do the, the flavor pinpoint no, it's, thing. It's, it's great. It just burns a hundred percent. Smokes all the way through. Um, I'm gonna smoke another one today. They're, they're good, man. I, I don't. I don't doubt them at all. Absolutely amazing cigar. You got anything else you want to add? No, I just. I'm. I'm really happy we got these. I'm glad customers are uh, noticing them. They're flying off the shelf, and and glad to have them as an addition. Without a doubt, man. Um, so as I said earlier, yeah, week three with um, Black Lipa Trading Company of Van Negro Brands, we are going to have Smokers Abbey from Austin, Texas. They are going to be here in a screen. I don't know. It's going to work, I hope. We'll see what happens. But they'll be here. Um, check them out. They, they're really, really great um, husband-wife duo that do their thing. Um, cool people, great shop. They, they're right along the lines of what we do in San Antonio. They believe in the customer, the experience, and giving them what no one else can give them. It's, it's just what it is. It's that simple. Um, can wrap this up. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, like, comment, subscribe to the show. You know how this goes. I want to hand you one of these. I want you to come in. If you're 18 years old or local to the state of Missouri, leave your comment. If your comment gets the most likes from other viewers or most dislikes, I don't care either way. Whichever thumb you get, more or less. Hand you this cigar. I give you the chance to sit down with Mike and myself, and uh, go through the show. So do and for it. People that watched the whole episode, a little announcement: AJ Fernandez cigars will be returning this week. You gotta watch the whole thing to find that out. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that's something big. We're excited about. See it. That's Easter why egg. I wore the hat today. Easter egg. We were the uh, number one seller in this area for AJ Fernandez. Unfortunately, for a year and a half, we had to forego it, but we are bringing them back. Right. Going to be a great addition. Um, they'll be on the show very soon as well. There's a lot of fun that's going to come out of that, that area. So that's week two with Black Label Training Company. We'll be back next week. I'm Mike. I'm Mark. Remember, we drink. We smoke. Eh, sometimes we know a few things. We know all the things. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>